In this video, we will talk about Windows 11 and TPM 2.0, how to enable TPM and PTT on your PC. My name is Shadows and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's start. So you have heard that Microsoft has unleashed their newest operating system to the world. The new style and the claimed sound and stability has impressed quite the most of us. Microsoft said that installing or upgrading to Windows 11 will require a PC with TPM. TPM stands for Trusted Platform Module. This state by the Microsoft officials has raised many uncertainties. The FAQs being, what even is TPM? Do you have it already in your PC? How do I enable it? Well, we'll clear all the doubts in this video. The first thing, what is a TPM? Well, to put it simply, TPM or Trusted Platform Module is a tiny chip located on your computer's motherboard. According to the official Microsoft documentation, TPM is defined as Trusted Platform Module TPM technology is designed to provide hardware-based security-related functions. A TPM chip is a secure crypto processor that helps you with actions such as generating, storing, and limiting the use of cryptographic keys. Now, this tiny chip includes multiple physical security mechanisms to make it tamper resistant, and malicious software is unable to tamper with the security of the TPM. TPM is currently in version 2.0, which is the required version for installing Windows 11. Its role and its significance has increased drastically more and more cyber threats continue to appear on a daily basis in the modern technological era. While PTT stands for Intel Platform Trust Technology, it is fundamentally the firmware-based implementation of a TPM by Intel. Now if we talk about how to enable TPM, most PCs that have shipped in the last couple of years are capable of running Trusted Platform Module version 2.0. TPM 2.0 is required to run Windows 11 as an important building block for security related features. TPM 2.0 is used in Windows 11 for a number of features including Windows Hello for identity protection and BitLocker for data protection. Now if we talk about how to check and enable TPM for Windows 11, the easiest way of checking that is to hit Windows plus R key and type tpm.msc. The version of TPM you have will be shown in the bottom right corner. Now if you have the restriction of TPM 1.2 as well, you can get around this restriction with a simple Windows registry change. A simple registry hack is all that stands between you and its latest OS. The fix is really simple. Simply hit Windows plus R key and type regedit R-E-G-E-D-I-T to open up the registry editor. Now go to the H key local machine, system, setup, MO setup. And in here, right click in the main panel and create a new dver 32 bit value with the name of allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. And lastly, set its value to one. With this simple tweak, you can now simply download the ISO file of Windows 11, make a Windows 11 bootable USB drive and start installing it. Like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more informative content just like this. Thank you.